how could you not be smiling after that? Michael Bublé. Hope that's got you in the right frame of mind. It is 10 past 10 on ABC Goulburn Murray and ABC Gippsland. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard references to the Victorian Ombudsman, but what does an Ombudsman actually do? Our current Victorian Ombudsman is Deborah Glass, and she's, she's been kind enough to join me this morning to explain her role and, and how it might particularly relate to regional Victoria Ombudsman. Thanks for your time. May I call you Deborah? You may indeed. Good morning to you. Thank you again. Um, it's good to have you on uh, ABC Gippsland and ABC Goulburn Murray. Can we, we just start for those people who aren't that familiar with an overview of what your role is? Well, I'm a government watchdog. I mean, I've been called many things in my time, but that's some of them unprintable. But um, <laughs> that's probably the, 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 the closest description I, I can provide. So I deal with complaints about government services. You know, and I, I'm in the business of fairness. It's, um, you know, what, what my office does is hold government to account. And, and one of the ways I do that is through dealing with the complaints of people right across Victoria. I guess it's a bit of a catch-22 for government in that they, they see a need for a role like this, but they're probably also a little fearful of the things that might pop up in terms of complaints. Oh, oh very much so. I mean, the, the, the role has been around since 1973, and it does take an enlightened government to recognise that you need an ombudsman because it's not a job that makes you popular with governments uh, of whatever stripe. And if someone does wish to lodge a complaint, what's the, the process that they go through? It's a very straightforward process, and I think it's really important also to stress, that although people have heard of my office, you know, for the kind of big public reports that, that I put out um, you know, a number of times a year, actually we deal with tens of thousands of complaints a year, um, many of them about matters that are relatively minor, although generally not to the people involved. So if you've got a, you know, we deal with complaints about um, local councils, uh, government agencies like, like Vicroads or WorkSafe. Uh, and if you've got a complaint, the first thing I would say to, to people is give the agency involved a chance to fix it. You know? So if you've got a complaint about your local council, and it could be anything from as a missed bin collection you know, through to something really major, give them a chance to sort it. But if they don't, contact my office. And you can do that in a number of ways. We have a call centre that operates between, at the moment, 10 and 4. Uh, or you can make a complaint online um, any hour of the day or night. How many people do you have working in your office to, to deal with complaints and what, what is the, the typical volume like? Well, I, I have about 100 staff overall. So, and, and we deal with tens of thousands of complaints a year. So you can imagine it, it's not a big staff, uh, but um, we, you know, we, we, we do the best we can to try and ensure we can help people as much as possible. A few things, you know, that, that probably worth um, clarifying. You know, we deal with complaints about virtually all state and local government services, uh, but we don't necessarily deal with um, all matters. So we get complaints, for example, about matters that could otherwise go to a court or a tribunal. So if you've got a complaint about a parking fine or, or um, a, a planning matter, Usually, if you've got a right of appeal at VCAT or, 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 or courts, then my staff will generally say, you know, look, you're really expected to, to go down that route rather than, than come to the ombudsman. And, and I'm guessing that the service is designed that I, even though you don't necessarily directly deal with the, the complaint, and we'll talk about other ombudsmen in a moment, uh, but you are offering advice and guidance to people who call in, so they shouldn't be at, shy absolutely. about that. Yeah. Absolutely. And I would encourage, it's a really confusing landscape out there, the whole sort of complaint scene, all the number of people who call themselves ombudsmen and deal with complaints, it's huge. So it, it is, you know, as a member of the public trying to figure out where to go, it's tough. And, and, and one of the things my staff do really well is point people in the right direction if we can't help you. Deborah, let's talk about the, the other ombudsmen because there are, you're dealing with uh, matters related to government, but there's a range of other ob ombudsmen, that's hard to say on a Wednesday morning, uh, with specific portfolios. Can you tell us a little about them? Well, there are a large number of industry ombudsmen. So if you've got a complaint about your, um, your phone bill, um, your uh, electricity connection, um, uh, you know, water and, and, and so on. You know, there, there is a there are specific ombudsmen who deal with that. There's a telecommunications ombudsman, 
there is energy and water ombudsmen. Uh, there is, you know, there are ombudsmen who deal with financial matters, uh, for instance. So there are the, the, uh, consumer affairs is another place. We don't deal with um, non-government um, entities, but we will point you in the direction of, of, of those people who who should be in a position to help you. It's quarter past ten. You're with Barry Whitehead on mornings on ABC Gippsland and ABC Goulburn Murray. My guest is the Victorian Ombudsman Deborah Glass. Deborah, what's the typical time to deal with a, a complaint? There really isn't a typical time because every complaint is different and every complaint is looked at on its merits. So, but if we take it at one end, the a, a relatively simple complaint like a missed bin, you know, I've, I've complained to the council and they've done nothing about it and, I, you know, and my bin hasn't been collected. Assuming you're lucky enough to live in a part of Victoria that actually has a waste collection, uh, then, um, then you can, you know, th th then that kind of complaint could be resolved very quickly by a phone call from somebody in my office to the council to go, you know, hey, how about going out and picking up Mrs Jones's bin? So it's, uh, it doesn't require investigation, it requires a call. So it could be as simple as something we can sort out you know, within the day or, or within a few days. We aim to resolve most complaints within 30 days, uh, but some of them are more complex than that. Uh, if, 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 it if it requires complex inquiries, it may well fall into that category of cases we'll try and, uh, and, and deal with within 90 days, which sounds like a long time, but sometimes it's worth it, it's necessary if, if, um, if it raises um, bigger issues and it requires us to inspect councils or the agency's files, for example. Is uh, regional uh, Victoria, is there any um, hampering or is it more difficult for people in regional Victoria to access your processes or is it still the same smooth um, um, transition? Well, I, I very much hope so. I mean, the, certainly the online complaint form is designed to appeal to everyone. We've designed it in a way that, that where a complaint, you should be able to make a complaint within seven minutes. Uh, it's, um, it should be really simple. Uh, at our phone services, uh, we have a 1800 number for regional Victoria. That's 1800 806 314 for those who would uh, like to get in, in touch with us. Uh, but one of the things I'm really conscious of is that we probably don't get as many complaints from regional Victoria as we should. And, and I, I really want to understand more about you know, the issues affecting regional Victoria. I want to make the point that I'm, I'm not the Melbourne Ombudsman, you know, I'm the Victorian Ombudsman. And I know that there are many, many issues out there where we probably could help people. And we don't know, if, if, if you don't get in touch with us, we don't know what needs to be improved in public service where you are. Well, hopefully one of the outcomes of our conversation today is that we have reached out to more people and, uh, and uh, given you or raised the awareness of regional listeners about uh, your services. Um, just before we go, I have to tackle the, the tough question uh, in this age of uh, gender neutral. Uh, is there any movement to change your title from Ombudsman? Well, I'm glad you asked me that question, Barry, because I, I've been the Victorian Ombudsman for seven years now, in fact, seven years today, uh, and, um, and it was a question I was asked very early on, because I am the first female Ombudsman of the state of Victoria, and I was initially asked, well, aren't you really an Ombudswoman? And the answer to that, uh, and I am very clear about this, this is a Swedish word. Uh, it, 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 it is a, a gender-neutral word, and it, um, it, it, it roughly translates to defender of the people. So I'm enormously proud of being an ombudsman, uh, and I'm proud of being the first female ombudsman, and uh, and that's you know the way I want the role to end up. That's very pleasing to hear that, and uh, in in listening to that, I, I'm sure that gives confidence to our listeners too that uh, you and your office are the right sort of people to go to if they've got an issue to deal with. Deborah, thank you so much for having a chat with us this morning. Um, and as I said, I hope we've raised uh, more awareness about your office and. Uh, uh, again, the contact number for Regional Victoria, 1800 806 314. And we should underline too that the services that you provide are free of charge. Absolutely. It's right. all about the fairness, Barry. It's good to talk to you. Okay, thanks very much, Deborah. Deborah Glass, the Victorian Ombudsman.